Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation, family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. If you have any questions, please give us a call 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2003 Born Free 26RB with 41,554 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2003 Born Free 26RB. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan, as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. We have a mixture of hard surface and carpet flooring in here. Got about 76 inches of headroom here in the rear part of the coach, about 73 inches at the roll bar casement here in the center, and at the air conditioner here. The air conditioner is controlled via the knobs right on the unit itself. You need to plug in or run the generator to use that. This is our fantastic fan here. This is going to run off of the coach battery system. Going to act like an attic fan at night, bring the cool outside air in through your screen window over here. This window does not have a screen. That tapers up to about... 83 inches here in the front, about 80 inches at the front roll bar casement. All the Born Frees were built with steel roll bar construction. Just a testament to the quality that people know and love when you get a Born Free. Two seat belts here on these swivel chairs, two up front, so a total of four seat belts here in this Born Free. Storage spot. Both of these flex steel seats swivel. We have flex steel seats up front as well. A little tear there on the armrest. Plug right here makes this great for a mobile workstation. Set your laptop up here. Plug that in there to get your device charged up. This railing here is not for chin-ups. This is a bunk ladder connector here. So you're going to take a bunk ladder, hook that here, and it's going to allow you to get up into the bunk. You can flip this down here and expose the bunk area. Windows on each side up top. You can get you some good airflow up there while you're sleeping. This little thing right here is movable, so you can just take that out. Shows a little bit of wear on that. This is a jackknife sofa. So you're gonna pick up on the front here and pull that out. It's gonna make one of our sleeping areas. So you'll be able to sleep here or also up in the bunk. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa bed measures approximately 75 inches north-south or front to back and 46 inches east-west or side to side in the RV. There is a storage area below the jackknife sofa that is accessible from inside or outside of the RV. The cab over bunk measures approximately 83 inches north-south or front to back and 68 inches east-west or side to side in the RV. Moving now towards the center of the coach, we have some marks here on the ceiling. This crank is for a TV antenna. Easily accessible entryway. Some people will cut a board and put that over this stairwell here so pets or people can't fall down in there. Screen door. This is our coach battery disconnect. It'll disconnect the coach battery systems to prevent parasitic draw. Also disconnects the charging systems to the coach battery, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. TV here has a built-in DVD player. Solar charge controller. Some light switches. Thermostat's going to control the propane furnace. We've got some marks on this cabinet panel here down here in this little magazine rack. Also, got some blemishes just here and there on the cabinets. Manuals. Got a plug there on the back wall. It's nice for your coffee pot, your air fryer. Window with a screen here in the kitchen. Dual basin sink. Got some markings in there. Generator start stop. Got another AC plug in there on the front of this cabinet so you can plug things in here in the kitchen area. Storage beneath the sink. It's 
It's our fresh water tank there. It's nice when you can visibly see those. So you can always tell exactly how much water is in that tank. More storage down below. Paper towel holder here, lots of counter space. Two burner propane comes out. Hood light and fan, we have our levels test for our black, gray, fresh water, liquid propane gas in our coach battery system. Don't always trust these. Water pump on off, that will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. This is the switch you're gonna hold to light these up. Hood light and fan switch are right there. We have a Panasonic Dimension 4, the Genius convection microwave oven. And then those controls right there on the air conditioner itself. Bathroom in the back here, we're gonna check out in just a moment. We have a two-way Norcold fridge freezer. This is a two-way, meaning it runs on AC power. So meaning you have a short power plug-in or the generator or propane gas. Some scratches in the bottom of the freezer box. Furnace duct down there along the floor. Fuse panel down here. This has our AC breakers and our DC fuses. This is a nice physical representation of the power systems in this motorhome. The AC being the shore power plug-in or the generator and the DC fuses being the coach battery system. It's a nice closet here. Lots of space for your clothes. Several drawers you can slide out. And more space down low here that you can access from inside or outside the coach through that door. Moving now into the bathroom. Exhaust fan overhead here in the shower. Not much of a step up and all to get into the shower, so very easy to access. Stool. Access to this nice big closet here. Another rail to hang things. You can also get down into that compartment. It's along the floor that you can access from outside of the coach. Get another stash spot up here for your bathroom goodies. Nice mirrors here on medicine cabinet. Some various discolorations here and there on some of the spots on the cabinet. It's not going to point everything out here. Still a good looking motorhome. Nothing, nothing that affects the fun or usability of this RV. Got your bathroom area back here. Tuck things down beneath the sink. AC power back here is great for plugging in your curling iron or whatever you're taking along with you for your bathroom. This is going to turn the hot water on and off. Why do ants never get sick? They have antibodies. Forgot to check this out earlier. Got this nice slide out pantry here. Some screw holes here in this countertop up by the TV. A little bit of discoloration right back here on the carpet. We got the screen window up here in the bunk. Nice window up front. Give you a beautiful view. Spots up here where you can tuck things while you're up in the bunk. And one over here with a plug-in to charge your stuff while you're up here at nighttime. Pull this privacy curtain here across this rail. Gonna block that off while you have people up there using the bunk. You can pull this privacy curtain around the front here in the cabin to block that off. Some cosmetic blemishes on the inside and outside of that one that's gonna affect my score here today, but it does not affect the fun or usability of this motorhome. We only have 41,000 and change on this unit. It's got lots of adventures left. It still has all the born free quality that you know and love if you are subscribed to our YouTube channel here. Everything works inside. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. You're welcome to stay if prearranged down at Crystal Fountain Park. That's our historic campground and wedding venue that has hosted guests from around the world for over 100 years. I'm going to call this one a 6 to a 6.5 out of 10, depending on what you want to fault it for. 
the cosmetic blemishes throughout the coach. I'd love to see this one at the Born Free National Rendezvous at Crystal Fountain Park on May 19th through the 22nd, 2024. You do have to register for that and be a member of the Born Free Leap and Lions Club. You can learn more at bornfreervclub.org. So check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt cruise, CD and cassette player. Nice clean upholstery, everything up front. I'm not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of burns, stains, no funny smells in here. There's no cigarette lighter, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. This is a backup camera monitor. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2003 Born Free 26RB. This RV measures 26 and a half feet bumper to bumper with a 15 foot manual awning. We have dual rear wheels and the tires have 28, 23 date codes. This Born Free is built on a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 41,554 miles. Storage down here. Showing some age on the exterior. Not super shiny, but not bad looking either. A little bit of discoloration there that might come off. I'll have the guys check that out. Back of our refrigerator. Furnace exhaust, two AC plug-ins so you can plug things in here outside if you're beneath the awning. Nice handle to help you get up and in. We have storage back here you can access from inside of the coach. That's our water here. The pink stuff is RV winterization fluid. This is our propane tank. This is mounted to the unit. You'll turn this on and off here with this little valve. Access for the water heater. Storage here in the rear bumper and in the back of the RV here. Access to plumbing. Tow package here is nice for a bike rack. Coming around now to the driver's side of the RV. We have solar panels on the roof of this one. Outside shower and water area. It's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going on a trail, keep the mess outside of the RV. This is where you're going to fill the onboard fresh water tank. This will pump out of this tank using the water pump that you'll turn on and off inside of the motorhome. This is to control the outside shower. This is our city water going in. This will provide the press pressure from the hose. Light to turn on and off so you can work outside here. This is going to be a TV in here. Fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. This is for the 30 amp shore power connection. We have our sewer dump down here. You're gonna do your black first and then the gray. Everything's gonna come out of the same hole there. Closer look here at the driver's side. Inflate, deflate, and check the pressure on the rear airbag suspension. Expanded battery power here in this one. Normally you just have the drawer down below. We have some additional batteries here beneath the jackknife sofa on the driver's side. You can access this from inside the coach too through these doors. Generator, generator exhaust. Check this born free out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Life and family update. Evelyn is growing like a weed. Her cuteness is stealing our hearts every day. She's at the age where she's pulling everything out of the kitchen cabinets and nothing is off limits. Levi and his gang headed west for some good old-fashioned American exploration of our country's national parks. We hosted our high school's prom at our historic venue and campground, Crystal Fountain Park. Our first prom felt surreal in so many ways. Here's Levi and Kelsey at Fairview High's 2006 prom and me and my wife Samantha at Fairview's 2012 prom. 